You know like that one friend who's like, oh I'm not gonna bring you food, but like, can I try something? I was just gonna eat off her plate. Thank you. Well, these are the revenge eggs, man. That's all I know. Can't afford those. These are so cute. These are so cute. Are you crazy? Hold on, Yana. You got your new jacket. Are you happy? I want to make a speech. Many times you think these like things come often, but they don't. Um, things good then. Um, I just want to say, guys, um, enjoy yourself. Okay. okay. Hey guys, what's up? I'm back in my studio. It's been, I think, God, I think two years since I filmed anything down here. I've only just finished cleaning up this whole space. Last weekend, I spent my entire Saturday just kind of cleaning things up. Let me show you guys. On my desk, I had like stacks and stacks of just paper, school stuff, and things I, I don't want to keep in my, my own personal space. Um, I decided to kind of like leave it and just stash it down here. You know, as time goes by, a lot of things piled up. What I did last weekend was kind of like sort them all out, throw things away. I went all Marie Kondo up in this joint. I'm really proud to see actually that I got all my books here, all sorted. Um, actually, no, sorry, books here, DVDs and like movies and films and stuff up here, um, school work down here. Uh, my shoe customization supplies down here and um, I have a few things to kind of sort out like this is gonna stay like this because it's my bookshelf my second bookshelf and I have some oh by the way Down here. I had a lot of sneakers that were uh, unsorted unorganized and just like so over the years I collected a lot of sneakers and I ran out of space and I kind of store them underneath this table, which I, like I said, I haven't used the space at all recently. So then I was like just piling things up over here. This became my clutter space. And a lot of my sneakers end up in this area. And also what I did last weekend was I kind of put all those sneakers away into like either storage, cabinets, units, um, some in the attic. So they're all stored away now. I only have a few left to kind of work on which are, well, these are not sneakers. These are just shoe boxes I want to repurpose and use for storage. But these two boxes down here, these are uh, some new sneakers that I just recently purchased, you know what I'm saying? I am going to unbox it in this vlog. So first I have to clean up my actual seat because without a seat, I can't film here. I got to clean the seat um, and I'll be right back. I've only decided to actually keep these boxes only because Marie Kondo's like, you should keep all your boxes because you never know when it's going to be useful later on. So I'm like, okay, fine, I'll keep the boxes. I don't know what to do with these boxes. Um, I don't really have things to store it yet, but I'll figure it out and I'll hopefully have a reason to use these boxes. We all seen this all somewhere in my vlogs before and it's just a very sentimental item because my aunt got it for me and I ain't gonna throw this out at all, so I'm keeping it. This bag, my God. This bag I bought in South Korea in Dongdaemun and now I don't even want it. First of all, I ain't a hoarder, but I'll admit that I do have a lot of things that sometimes I'm like, why did I even buy these? Like, oh my God, this is my gym bag. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. I think my basketball's still in there. Oh, I can't wait for like springtime so I can actually, oh my God, my ball is still in here. I can't wait to play some basketball. Uh, where do I put this? And I have a pair of slippers that I got at Kohl's, I think, yeah, Kohl's, that I never even opened. And I feel terrible because I'm like, what do I spend my money on? This, these are moccasin indoor and outdoor house slippers. Um, okay. Next time, don't do this, right? Also, as I was cleaning here the other day, I found 
the most worthless item, useless. I should not even have spent a cent on this thing, but I did. And that was because we went to Universal Studios and we went to Hogwarts, no sorry, Hogsmeade. And I just ended up getting it. I got a Dumbledore wand. That doesn't even do anything. Like why did I, uh, can you guys believe this? 40 bucks for Dumbledore wand. I ain't even a Hogwarts fan like that, bro. I might sell it. If you guys do cosplay or whatever, Halloween, I don't know. You can borrow this from me, okay? I don't even know when I'm gonna use these slippers, but I'll put it away for now and then I'll decide later. Yo, check this out, guys. Whoa, whoa, okay. Breaking things on my desk already. Now that I finally have a seat, to sit on. Oh, it feels weird sitting here again. I hope there are no spiders here because it's been oh, it's been that long, okay? Okay, now that I am officially settled in, I did a lot of cleaning. Um, I realized that there are a lot of spider webs floating around. There's a spider in that corner that I don't want to deal with right now. There were spider webs up here that I've cleaned last weekend. And now I'm just praying that uh, no spiders will kind of like drop down and scare me, but until then, I'll just start making videos here again. And I'm excited because like I said, in the past, this has been my one place that I liked filming because it was my workspace. And also like I did work here, not just for YouTube, but like I did work here for actual work, design work. Um, and also do a lot of my paperwork down here because I realized that in the past two years when I do a lot of my work work in my bedroom slash bedroom office, like my workspace office, it doesn't work for me because I'm too comfortable being in this workspace allows me to be semi-comfortable but also in a headspace where I know that I can be productive. So you guys probably know from my Instagram. Hold on, I don't like this angle. I'm gonna move you guys. So in this vlog, I'm going to be unboxing a huge sneaker haul. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys probably know that I love sneakers. I love collecting them. I have pairs that I wear. There are pairs of sneakers where I don't wear that I shrink wrap and I store away. There are pairs that I just regret buying. Luckily, I don't have that many of those. So these sneakers that I got, I didn't even open them yet because I want to unbox these sneakers on camera because I'm like, this is like a huge deal for me. Like I've never spent that, mon that much money on sneakers all at once. But let's get to the sneaker unboxing because I'm so here for it. Okay, here is the first box. This is from Finish Line. And I'm only doing this because um, the sneakers I bought at Finish Line aren't as hype as the ones I bought from Nike. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Hey, 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 hey. Yo, I've never unboxed sneakers on this channel before. This might be a thing. Also a thing with me as sneakers. When I buy sneakers, I never buy them at retail. I never buy them original price. I never buy them at resale price. I don't believe in that overly expensive bullshit, okay? When I buy sneakers, it's gotta be sneakers that I like, the color that I like, most importantly, the price for me. Like, if you shop with me, if, you, if you're gonna ride, ride with me, right, okay? You will not spend over a hundred bucks on sneakers, okay? Every single pair of sneakers that I get are between $30 to, get this, 90. I ain't gonna spend $150 on one pair of sneakers. I might spend $150 on two pair of sneakers, but you'll never find me spending $150 on one pair of sneakers. Unless, unless they are Jordan 1's retro OG, then that's when I'll actually spend money like that. But other than that, you won't catch me spending money, crazy amount of money on sneakers. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, ooh boy, ooh boy, ooh boy. So the thing is, um, when I unbox sneakers, right? I know, like, this is my first time unboxing sneakers, obviously, but I'm always afraid, like, what if I do this on camera and the size that they sent me is wrong? It'll be so humili- hum- 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 It will be so humiliating. Ugh. Okay, first of all, I can't remember what I got. And also, why is my box soggy wet? Like, explain this to me, finish line. If I were to, like, resell this, right, which I know I won't, 
I don't resell sneakers like that. But if I were to resell it, how am I gonna resell it with this kind of soggy as box? So you guys can already tell from here what the sneaker is, and I forgot what this one is, what is it? Oh, yes! So, okay, I've been meaning to start running again. Um, I used to run back when I was in middle school. In high school, I did more basketball slash volleyball. In college, I did mostly volleyball. Now I wanna get back into basketball, which I started already, and I also wanna get back to running. This is where these shoes come in. I was doing some research on sneakers for running, and it turns out that these sneakers are the best for running. These are designed for marathon running, which I know I'm not gonna be doing, cause come on, commitment issues. You know, for a starter, I think this would be the perfect sneaker for running, and oh, I'm excited, I'm excited, okay. I don't know if I can do this actually, like I get too excited for sneakers, so maybe like, it's not a good idea for me to do unboxing sneakers. Ooh boy. <gasps> They're so nice. I just don't understand why my, my shoe box is all wet. It's so nice. So these are the Nike Zoom Fly SPs. I don't know what SP stands for, but I assume it means special. Oh my gosh, these are tough. I can confirm that these are their correct size. They are 10 and a half. If you want to send me sneakers, I'm 10 and a half. Sometimes 10 with Nike. I'm 10 with Adidas, sometimes nine and a half with Adidas. So um, thank you in advance. But man, these are tough. Like I normally don't like yellow sneakers, but they do a great job with the fabric. It's not just a complete yellow sneaker. It's, wow, oh my gosh. I, I'm so excited for these. Oh, look at the, the aglets. Oh, they're nice, nice, nice. Originally they were 150. Then they went down to 70 bucks. But guess how much I paid for these? 49, 49. So. I'm excited, I'm excited, yeah. It's come to my attention that for the past year, dad shoes, dad shoes have been the trend for the past two years, I wanna say, and it's still rolling over to 2019. And I was like, maybe I should hop on the bandwagon, but I ain't gonna hop right in just because I wanna sell out some trends. So what I did was I noticed that there's a sneaker brand exclusively at Finish Line that does that sneakers but they don't do it for the price range of like 90 to 160 bucks. Like I ain't paying that money for ugly ass shoes, okay? You feel me? So what I did was I was like, okay, let's check out some, some options, you know, options are good. And I came across these. So this is the sneaker project brand from Finish Line. Basically what they do is they kind of like, it's like what the brand is called, a sneaker project. They work on a certain kind of model and they just experiment with it. And I love that because I like experimenting things because you never know what works and what doesn't. So what I did was I got these in lieu of getting like Adidas Young Ones or um, those Yeezys, the Wave Runners. Like no, no offense, like, I love those. I really want a pair of Young Ones myself, but I'm not gonna pay 120 bucks for them, okay? So what I did was I found these and they remind me of those Balenciagas. And since these are not the Balenciagas, Triple S's, my friend Ayana and I call them the Balenciagas because they're fake Balenciagas. Ooh, yes, these are the ones I want. Okay, why would I spend a thousand bucks on an ugly pair of shoes, right? And I know that Balenciaga has this colorway, right? but also Calvin Klein has his colorway and my favorite basketball player, Jimmy Butler also wore the Calvin Klein's colorway, which is basically the green and the yellow last summer. And I've always wanted a pair of sneakers that look like that. And I got one. These are the sneaker project. What are these even called? I think they're called Park Avenues, but this is how the sole looks like. Very different from the Balenciagas. This is the, how the colorway looks like. Very similar to the Balenciagas. And I don't know guys, what do you guys think? I am in love with them. I tried them on at the store once and they are comfortable. I was surprised. I'm holding it right now, it feels very heavy, 
but when I put it on my feet, it was super light, which doesn't make sense to me. Like, this isn't science. Anyway, so I'm happy that I purchased these. Like, how much did I buy these for? I bought these for 30 bucks. The material isn't cheap though. The material is very durable. It's pretty sturdy. I don't believe that, yeah, I don't think they're, they're gonna break anytime soon. <laughs> Am I actually gonna wear these out in the streets though? Bro, <laughs> would I? I do notice a few things. The stitching isn't great. The stitching here isn't great. You know, there are, you know, it's fraying a little bit over here. Um, but overall, I think, you know, this is what sneakers should be like. It's not like, you know, sneakers is just glue here, stitching here, and that's it. So why am I paying a thousand bucks for something that looks like this when I can pay $30 for something that looks like this? You know what I'm saying? Just saying. I said what I said. Okay, the next one is a little bit heavy. Which side up? It's telling me to just do it and just open it, but I'm like, I need a, I need a minute. Ooh, I need a moment. Because in this box are the pair of shoes that I've always wanted that I didn't think I could actually afford until they went on sale. So remember how earlier I said that um, homeboy don't buy no sneakers that are over a hundred bucks? Well, okay, yeah, it's true. Like I said, I do buy some Air Jordan ones that are a hundred, like over a hundred dollars. But there are also another pair of sneakers that I've spent money on where it's also over 100 and it's justifiable, okay? So, y'all heard of these shoes called Vapor Maxes? Yeah, they cost 200 bucks. I'm paying out 200 bucks for sneakers. I spent money on Vapor Maxes that ended up being like, I don't even remember, but... Hold on, let me show, let me show you guys what's in this box. You see this? This is... Classic Nike box. This is a box I've never seen in my life because I've never owned these shoes before. And they are the Vapor Maxes. <sighs> the moment of truth. Wait, let me put this in the floor first so I get more space on over here. <sighs> Vapor Max. Thank you, Nike.com, for giving me the opportunity to spend some money at your store and drop some coins. Oh, I'm shaking right now because I'm so exhilarated. I mean, the box just did that, I didn't do anything. I mean, look. It wasn't me. Lord! Oh my gosh, so, a little background story, okay? Homeboy can't afford no Vapor Maxes. Never thought I would ever buy a pair of Vapor Maxes, but <laughs> never seen ever, right? Oh, baby. Baby, you home right now. You home right now. Yes, you're home right now. Oh my God. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, um, I went to the store with my friend Ayana the other time and I saw these, right? And I was like, I know these just dropped because I was like watching these carefully as the drop date came, because I love the colorway. So this year, my favorite NBA team, the Timberwolves, released their City Edition jerseys, which was completely, I'm telling you, completely inspired by Prince and Purple Rain movement and all just, purple you know and i was like i didn't know i liked purple like that until i saw their whole marketing campaign with their city edition jerseys and i'm just like well guess i do like purple now and my friend ayana like i showed you guys in like several vlogs back then she got me the timberwolves t-shirt that's basically the city edition inspired theme which is the the fuchsia purple color and i was like you know what this is what looks so nice with them Am I right or am I right? Like, this is, oh! The level of drip here is just crazy. Let me be so super technical right now. These are the Vapor Maxes. They have a full length air unit 
and a flyknit upper. They have a heel counter that protects your heel from slipping out of the shoes. And that's it. These are tough. Oh my gosh, these are so tough. Legit, I was thinking about getting a second pair because I don't want to wear these. I want to like preserve these and get another pair that I would wear, but that would be too crazy. I made it guys, I made it. I made enough money to buy these. Oh my gosh, yes, yes. Yes! Hello? Hey Nike? Yeah, can you send me another pair of these? Cause um, I love them so much. They so fancy. Being a sneakerhead that I am, I actually never owned any pair of Air Max 97s. I got the Nike Air Max 97 Special Edition <laughs> in mahogany color slash mink. You guys have to see for yourself why I love this so much. Lord have mercy. This is what love feels like. This is the mahogany mink colorway. It's like basically smoky rose gold. And check this out. I'm not even exaggerating. Like this is how beautiful these sneakers are. <sighs> mm, I love you. I love you too. I got twins guys, I got twins. Um. Okay, so this is getting weird, but that's the end of this video. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. I might do a, a sneaker collection video soon. So um, stay tuned for that if you guys are interested. Um, again, like I'm not a typical sneaker head. Like I don't go for the mainstream colorways or like I don't go for like the ones that everyone loves because I'm like, if everyone loves it, then it ain't special. You know what I'm saying? So most of my colorways, most of the sneakers that I get are mostly colors that not many people have, not many people like and only because it's just me it's just my style and like i like what i like and i said what i said but thanks for watching this video and i'll see you in the next video bye